Hello again, 2E0VOV. Uh, we're going to uh, show you the enhanced update. Uh, part 3 now of the uh, telescopic VHF and UHF dipole for the handheld, which you've uh, seen in prev previous videos can be used for handheld use or uh, portable clip to benches. Well now I've made the mast for it to stand freestanding for SOTA. Uh, you can see it's pegged to the ground. Um, it goes together with uh, five sections of one inch PVC uh, conduit, 25mm, I suppose you should call it over here. Um, so I'll just show you how, uh, how I've uh, worked around it uh, and made it to uh, configure the way it is and hopefully this might inspire somebody to copy if they want to. Um, okay, well, the antenna you've seen previous videos and the mount clipping in which is 22 mil conduit uh, 22 mil uh, plumber saddles little copper pipe saddles they snap in lovely and tight um, right now this is the main part of the work if you like this is a um, number 10 SWA cleat uh, for SWA cables in steel wire ar wild armor um, I've got to trim back the, the stud to a respectable length, but basically this nut and that nut, they lock this part together, as in just to pinch the stud into position, so it will stay still. So when I operate the wing nut to pinch the actual cleat, obviously everything holds nice and steady. Um, Basically, a cleat of uh, number 10, as I say, is for 25mm, which we've got here. Hopefully the camera will do a good job of showing you what it is. There's a cleat. Alright, and the actual, uh, the mast itself is made uh, in five sections, as I say, which are 16 inches a piece, and they are made up using what they call a through, couple, through coupling. Um, these are pence, literally they are pence. And um, basically you cut the uh, main length into any section numbers you require and then just push them in. You bond one half to the uh, to the mast. Okay, so you bond one half on the mast, obviously well, as you can see there. So that's bonded in that half, that half's not. You just push it in and uh, that makes the next section join. So as you can see, hopefully the camera will do a good enough job how uh, this goes and, and the total height I've settled on is about two meters maybe just over um, well you can work that out if you really wanted anyway so um, incidentally does it work well uh, I've done a few on-air tests so far the best we've managed is from where I live in Paul stood here in the garden like this but it was actually being held at the time in a handheld fashion and um, uh, worked uh, 2E1 PEC Peter uh, over in Salisbury from a hand handheld radio clipped in five watts. So does it work? Yeah, I mean it's about 30 miles as a crow flies. So I'm looking forward to a SOTA with this uh, this antenna. Uh, I'd really like to see how far we can go with five watts and hopefully have a lot of fun. Anyway, 73s from 2E0 VOV. Wishing you good DX for the year and hopefully. An improvement to our weather. Cheerio, bye bye.